Plants are always undergoing different levels of stress, mild, serious, or even severe, with dry air, too much light, or not enough water. The genes that allow plants to deal with these stresses are not the same for each of these conditions. Here we are trying to identify the traits that vary genetically, and it is then the breeder who will determine the gene variants, called the alleles, that are most favorable for each condition. Our job is to identify this genetic variability of the traits and also to test which traits are most favorable in each climate scenario in Europe. Here, on a platform like this one or similar platforms in the fields, it involves associating forms of genes with behaviors. Here we are at the watering station that allows us to process and manage individually a total of 1,600 large pots. The system is automatic. Each pot arrives at the watering station that weighs it. Then we provide the system with the amount of water needed so we can process each plant individually, either to be water stressed or well watered. Here, each pot arrives. The system takes pictures of the plant from above and from the sides. This is done every day for every plant, so we can monitor the changes in leaf area, plant biomass, and architecture as the plant grows. After the three photos are taken, they are loaded into a database. Afterwards, we analyze this image and we calculate the number of pixels and from that, leaf area, an approximated biomass. More elaborate data processing provides detailed plant architecture, such as the number and position of leaves. Here we see the development over time of four genotypes that differ significantly in terms of plant architecture. From a basic research viewpoint, we aim to identify and give a role to key genes and combinations of genes that allow the plant to continue producing biomass when the plant is under stress. From an applied perspective, we collaborate with breeders, essentially of seed companies, to develop more tolerant varieties. The goal is to reduce the time this takes to design and to develop a new variety for farmers. Currently, this takes 10 years. They would like to bring this time down to 7 years if possible. <laughs> 